Exodus 29. This is what you are to do to consecrate them, so they may serve me as priest. Take a young bull and two rams without defect, and from them, and from fine wine, and from fine wheat flour without yeast, make bread and cakes mixed with oil, and wafers spread with oil. Put them in a basket and present them in it. Present them in it, along with the bull and the two rams. Then bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance to the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Make the or take the garments and dress Aaron with the tunic, the robe of the ephod the ephod itself, and the breast piece. Fasten the ephod, fasten the ephod uh, on him by its skillfully woven waistband. Put the turban on his head and attach the sacred di diadem to the turban. Take the anointing oil and anoint him by pouring it on his head. Bring his sons and dress them in tunics and put headbands on them. Then tie sashes on Aaron and his sons. The priesthood is theirs by everlasting ordinance. In this way we or in this way you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. Bring the bull to the front of the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on it on its head. Slaughter it in the Lord's presence at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Take some of the bull's blood and put it on the horns of the altar with your fingers and pour out the rest of it at the at the base of the altar then take uh, then take all the fat around the inner parts covering the liver and both kidneys with the fat on them and burn them on the altar but burn the bull, but burn the bull's flesh and its hide, and its awful, awful outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Take one of the rams, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on its head. Slaughter it and take the blood and sprinkle it across the altar on all sides. Cut the ram into pieces and wash the inner parts and the legs, putting them with the head of the other pieces. Then burn the entire ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma an offering made to the Lord by fire. Take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on it on its head. Slaughter it. Take some of its blood and put it on the lobes of the right ears of Aaron and his sons on the right thumb of their on the thumb of their right hands on the big toe of their right foot feet then sprinkle 
blood across the altar on all sides and take some of the blood on the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aaron and his garments and on his sons and their garments. Then you, then he and his sons and their garments will be consecrated. Take from this ram the fat, the fat tail, the fat around the inner parts, the covering of the liver, both kidneys with the fat on them, and the right thigh. This is the ram for the ordination. From the basket of bread made without yeast, which is before the Lord, take a loaf and a cake made with oil and a wafer. Put all these in the hands of Aaron and his sons. And his sons. And wave them before the Lord as a wave offering. Then take them from their hands and burn them on the altar along with the burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord. An offering made to the Lord by fire. After you take the breast of the ram for Aaron's ordination, wave it before the Lord as a wave offering, and it will be his share. Consecrate those parts of the ordination ram that belong to Aaron and his sons, the breast that are that was waved, and the thigh that was presented. This is always to be the regular share for the for the Israelites from the Israelites for Aaron and his sons. It is the the contribution the Israelites are to make to the Lord from their fellowship offerings. Aaron's sacred garments will be long will be long to his descendants so that they can be anointed and ordained ordained in them. The son who succeeds him as priest and comes to the tent of meeting to minister to minister in the holy place is to wear them seven days. Take the ram of the ordination and cook the meat in a sacred place. At the entrance to the tent of meeting, Aaron and his sons are to eat the meat of the ram, and the bread that is in the basket. They are to eat these offerings by which atonement was made for their ordination and consecra consecration. But no one else may eat them because they are sacred, and if any of the meat of the ordination ram or any bread is left over until morning, burn it up. It must not be eaten because it is sacred. Do for Aaron and his sons everything I have commanded you, taking seven days to ordain them. Sacrifice a bull every day as a sin offering to make atonement. Purify the altar by making atonement for it and atone and anoint it to
to consecrate it. For seven days, make atonement for the altar and consecrate it. Then the altar will be most holy, and whatever touches it will be holy. This is what you are to offer on the altar regular, regularly every day. Two lambs a year old. Offer one in the morning and the other at twilight. With the first lamb, offer a tenth of an ephod of fine flour mix, mixed with a quarter of a hen of oil from pressed oil from pressed olives and a quarter of a hand of wine as a drink offering. Sacrifice the other lamb at twilight with the same grain offering and its drink offering as it in the morning and, and a, a pleasing aroma an offering made to the Lord by fire. For the generations to come, this burnt offering is to be made regularly at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. There is there I will meet with you and speak to you. There I will there also I will meet with the Israelites, and the place will be consecrated by my glory. So I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar and will consecrate Aaron and his sons to serve me as priest. Then I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. They will know that I am the Lord, their God, who brought them up who brought them out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them I am the Lord their God